this is a random video and I'm just letting y'all know up front, but you're gonna wanna watch it because it's good. Okay, it's very, very good. So y'all got me in this rabbit hole going through Jasmine's Instagram because I have to make a correction video about what character she's playing within the sisters universe. I'm gonna need y'all to be sending me these receipts before I actually post videos because y'all coming in my comment section just to tell me I was wrong, but you ain't send me the dag on Instagram story to help me out beforehand. Is we good sis and good bro or not? Like what's going on? Anywho. Hey y'all, what's up? It's your good sis Erica Van coming to you right here on Erica Van TV with another, I guess, sisters related video. I wanted to take a second and highlight Jasmine Brown who looks like she's going to be playing Deja in the sisters universe. I have a video about that. So if you want to know more about her and her character, then click the link in the description box or the cards above and get into her character after you finish watching this video. Now, I did do a video talking about Aaron and him potentially cheating, and I thought that she was going to be the character that he was cheating with. However, the Deja video is the updated video, but everything about the storyline around Aaron cheating is true. We just don't know what, what person is going to play that character. But in this video, I really wanted to take a second and highlight this reel that she did talking about women and how we can get frustrated sometimes when we see that we made our man or our ex-man better for the next woman. Watching her reel, y'all, literally took me to Karen, Zach, and Fatima, and I was just like, well, it needed to be said. I think some people get it confused on my channel because I do support Karen and I understand her and I empathize with her a lot. People get it confused as if I am excusing some of her behavior or I think that everything that she does is okay, and I don't. And this reel is a great example of laying things out for what it is and what it ain't. And I 100% support this message. Check it out. Hey besties, I gotta talk about this. You gonna be mad, but we gotta talk about it. I know sometimes it's hard to accept the fact that we made our ex person better for the next person, but you just gotta eat that, baby. You just gotta eat it. Cause what they just hit you when you see them move on, like the audacity of this motherfucker to move on and be happy and be treated this bitch right with all the tactics I took his ass. In the real, she starts off saying, I know it's hard when we realize that we just made our ex better for the next person, but we just gotta eat that. Y'all, that is literally what Karen is going through while they had a tumultuous relationship, while there was disrespect and dismissal and mistrust, there also were some good things. I'm actually working on a video because some of y'all talking about uh, Karen never actually apologized and I have already compiled a video breaking down all of the times that she actually apologized, which will be coming soon. Subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on the Good Sisters content. But we are literally watching Karen go through the motions of realizing like, yo, he's really becoming a better person for this next person. And that is all a part of the process. Way too many of y'all are trying to rush her through this part of the process. And it's so funny because I get criticized because I understand and empathize because I know exactly where she's at. And I understand that it is what a process that we all go through. But you know, all of y'all are holy and then thou. So let's continue. Now you want to cuss everybody out. He wasn't even thoughtful before I met him. He wasn't even romantic before I met him. I helped him heal the relationship he had with his mama. He wasn't even texting good morning, beautiful, or good night, beautiful, before I met him. Now this bitch wanna post flowers, talk about, oh, he sent me good morning with roses. Bitch, that is my roses! I know it's a lot and it's annoying and it's painful, but you ever thought like maybe the girl he's with now deserves this version of him? You ever thought about that? <laughs> I'm just playing for that bitch. She goes on to say, it just hits you when you see that this person has moved on, like the audacity. And it's just like, well, 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 damn, homie. <laughs> and that is literally what Karen is actually experiencing. And again, I am enjoying the whole authentic portrayal of this particular part of this woman's journey on screen. I think that y'all should release yourselves from the demons of hating her and just enjoy the ride of watching, you know, a woman have to go through the process of seeing her ex do better without her. And what took the cake for me, y'all, was when she's like, and then you wanna cuss everybody out. And it's just like, well, ain't that the truth? Karen ain't running around cussing everybody out, but she questioning things, she's holding things in, she's rolling her eyes, she's sucking her teeth, and by golly, Miss Molly, that's how I go sometimes. It's that he wasn't even romantic before I met him because he definitely printed out all them pictures of Fatima and him and put it up on that mirror. And I was like, Zach, 
Zach, this ain't cost you no money. You couldn't have did this while you was in the relationship with Karen while you run around here talking about you don't have no money and you trying to do better, you want to do better so damn bad. Boy, you better have learned from that previous relationship and know that you need to express certain actions and appreciation within your situation. Go off. And to sum it up, not him trying to send roses, them is my roses. Karen standing outside that duplex like, that is my duplex. No, but in all seriousness, y'all, I really thought that this reel was super, super entertaining. And it aligned with the storyline that we're seeing play out with Zach, Fatima, and Karen. So I thought that I would share. Post your thoughts in the comment section down below. Unless your thoughts are just simply that you hate Karen. Because at this point, I'm really tired of seeing it. And I would love if you don't bring more negativity in my life. Thank you, management. Be sure to like the video. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I'm coming with more actual sisters videos very, very soon. And you don't want to miss out on it. So hit that subscribe button, join the tribe, and turn on your bell notifications. See you in the next one, boo.